Why don't companies, who share price plunge, reverse stock split to boost it? COVID-19 has caused many large cap stocks to tumble like Spirit, Husky Energy $2.75. Why don't they reverse stock split to uplift their share prices? Here are some benefits of unsplitting. A high stock price can make the company look prestigious. E.g. a company trading at $1,000 per share will be perceived as more valuable even though the firm's market capitalization may be the same as a company whose shares trade at $50. Share values mustn't fall too low. There have been cases where companies have split shares only to see the stock market dive, pushing shares below $10. Psychologically, this may turn off some shareholders, and in extreme cases, share prices may be too low for a company to be listed on an exchange. Companies will avoid splitting to protect themselves from this possibility. Doubtless large caps wouldn't fancy themselves dropping to being a penny stock. Why don't they reverse stock split to uplift their share prices? Stock splits and reverse splits are a zero-sum activity. It's like trading 10 dimes for a dollar bill. The company is not worth any more or less after the fact. It used to be that a lower share price was desired since it would enable more investors that had to buy shares in 100 share lots. Nowadays, with index funds dominating the market, that benefit has largely gone away, which is why you see companies like Amazon and Apple decide not to split their shares that are worth hundreds or thousands of dollars per share. A reverse split may be required in order to stay listed on exchanges, but it often seen as a large negative signal, much like suspending a dividend. So companies have no financial incentive to split or reverse split, but often have behavioral incentives. Not to reverse split.